Oh, okay. Hey, guys, Zabuya, Zabuya, things are happening. Um, we've been told that oh, General Shetrak's beer is suing, is it suing oh, Patricia Marshall for the things that Patricia Marshall had posted? So, Zabuya, if you think that's a joke, well, here in front of me, Pamgwami. There is a document in the High Court of South Africa, Free State Division, Bloemfontein, case number 636342-2024, stroke before Honorable Justice J.P. Uh, Dafu on the 11th, the 11th day of November, that would have been yesterday, in the matter between Shetrak Sbia applicant and Patricia Morgan Marshall responded. Okay, don't worry. You and I have got a date and we're definitely going to talk about this. But I want to do something to your memoir and that is to remind you of something. Let me remind you that the things that some of the things that Patricia Mashal says it has to do with the case of Senzo Mayewa, if you remember vividly. So we're going to go through all of those things. Ah, ah, let's not go through all the things that Patricia Mashal once said because I'm going to forget. But what I'm going to do, I need, we need to, I need to talk to Patricia Mashal about this um, and how does it impact her. But let me read this. There's about four to five pages of this. It says, number one, the applicant non-compliant with the rules of the court relating to service and time period is condoned and the matter is heard on an agent basis in terms of rule six bracket two. The rule is issued in return of date fifth of December 2024 uh, at about 9.30, uh, calling upon the respondent to advance reason why the following interim order should not be made final. 2.1, it is declared that the allegation made by the respondent about the applicant in the um, pure st statement reflected in paragraph 3.2 Infer are unlawful and deformatory. 2.1.1 alternatively to paragraph 3.1, declaring that the allegation made by the respondent about the applicant in the impure statement are made falsely with the intention to injure the applicant. Oh, my dog. Hey, Kobe. <laughs> hey, we are on our channel to 60,000 subscribers. Vele, we are going there. So please, you might as well do your favor and join the team that is going to 60,000 subscribers by doing this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay let's proceed um whew, do you want me to go through this let me go through 
Further, alternative paragraph 3.1, declaring that the allegation made by da, 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 by the respondent about the applicant in the impure um, statement violate the applicant's rights to dignity. Uh, 2.2, impure statement posted on the respondent on, on her Facebook and uh, Twitter X amount as, as follows. 2.21, uh, on the 6th of March 2024, no timestamp on Facebook attached here unto as an extra uh N O M I one on the sixth of March at about nine thirty on Twitter attached here unto as an extra obviously two on the twenty seventh of September two thousand twenty-four uh, no timestamp on Facebook attached to uh, here and to and as an extra uh, on the 27th of October 2024 at about 1842 on Twitter attached to as an an extra on uh, the next one to local 2.25 on the 28th of October 2024 at uh, four minutes to 10 on Twitter attached here and to as an an extra what what uh, 2.2.2.2.6 on the 3rd of October 2024 at 09 uh, at 9 past 7 look 9 past 7 on Twitter attached here unto as an annex shop on 2.2.7 on the 3rd of October 2024 no timestamp on Facebook attached to above the, the list goes on and on and on but let's proceed it then says the responder is directed to uh, permanently retract or remove or delete impure statement as referred to above made by her within 24 hours of receipt of this order on the following social media platforms on her on her facebook account under the under the username patricia morgan marshall on her twitter account under the username patricia marshall 3 the respondent is interdicted from publishing or causing to uh, ca causing to be published any further defamatory statement about otherwise concerning the applicant in a similar on that on the impute statement and annex to what 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 um, right and then the respondent it continues to say the respondent is further ordered to publish within 24 hour of granting of the final relief here uh, here in an apology to the applicant in which the respondent unreservedly apologizes for the allegation made in her impute statement and for the look and for the publication of the impute statement and further the apology referred to above must be ma must take must take the form of a press statement must be issued by the respondent in her name and look uh, the proposed wedding of the apology referred above is attached as <laughs> ah, i didn't even tell you how to apologize <laughs> ah, i didn't even tell you how to apologize ah, <laughs> 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 they even tell you how to apologize Gandhi. oh god <laughs> But that's the little lap, a sick lap, the respondent shall distribute the apology referred to above at all media houses, online blogs that have uh, that have repeated or otherwise referred to the ambient statement. A copy of the media houses and the blog is attached. So what happened in a case that you don't have, you, like, I don't have access to, uh, I don't have access to... Let's say I don't have access to SAPC. I don't have access to Newsroom Africa. I don't have access to ENCA. What, what happened in that case? Like, oh, they are saying you're going to send this apology online. Like, how am I going to send that apology? Because I'm asking myself, what happened in that case? But yeah, the respondent is ordered to pay the cost of the application and hearing to the date on the attorney client scale pending the return date and the finalization of the matter paragraph 3.2 local 33 and 34 including sub paragraph where relevant shall operate as an interim interdict immediately upon granting of the order uh, number four the applicant is granted leave to supplement his papers if necessary 
Oh, Jehovah. Um, and then mina lan. Ah, guys, I don't know what I've done. I don't know what I've done. Oh, okay, now I'm back. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay. The respondent has the right to set his matter down for reconsideration in terms of rule 6 paragraph uh, rule 6 bracket 12 bracket local bracket c alternatively to uh, anticipate the return date in terms of rule 6 bracket 8 the applicant is granted leave to serve this application together with a copy of his order upon the respondent by way of facebook messenger instagram by order of the court, Parisha Mashal then posted that. Manager, out of everything here, they even choose the wording for you to say, these are the words that you shall use in your apology. Uh, so you shall, uh, I'm imagining saying, them saying, um, you will use the word, I apologize unreservedly. So... <laughs> Does it become an unreserved <laughs> Because you told me to say I apologize unreservedly. So is it an apology that is unreserved now? You know, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, you know, you know, it will make sense for me to say apologize unreservedly, not to say we want you to use the word apology. You know what I'm saying? Because then it doesn't sound, it doesn't look or sound genuine if now. I'm the one who I'm saying, for instance, uh, I saw somebody who says, look, uh, Afroforum says I should tell you this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so at the end of the day, it doesn't sound original because you are telling me what to say. So let me say to people, so and so said I should say this. And then you're done now. You're happy. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Hey, I think he, the law man must find its way of you know uh, uh, controlling things because it's so funny. Now I'm thinking, cha, cha, think about it. Like think about it. Uh, uh, he, let's say for instance, they say you guys must apologize to my popola. So now we must all say, eh, my popola. Eh, we and we apologize unreservedly. The, okay, I'll, I'll give an example. The court says we must apologize unreservedly to you. Uh, like. <laughs> It doesn't sound original. It doesn't sound like... Ah, guys, you don't get it. And you, you'll never get it anyway. You know what I'm saying? You'll never get it. Ah. Hey. But nonetheless, 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 things are happening here. Um, this is the formatory case. Order has been made. Uh, the matters of court, it's not, a, it's not something you can take it for granted. It's definitely not something you can take it for granted. But what what can I say? What can I say? Um... In South Africa, there are people, three people, whose name uh, shall, shall be, uh, sh their name shall be called Miss Fearful Focal. Uh, the others, forget about them. But these three that I'm about to tell you. One, Musa Kaula. Hey! Umko, eh, Musa Kaula, don't say this, huh? I don't care. Two, no tabaloi. Huh? <laughs> Hey, Nota, hey! Nota will say it. Three. Patricia Marshall. Oh, Patricia Marshall will come and say, yeah, I'm so good. And then I get Patricia Marshall. I'm so good. 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 One by one. She even posted the very same thing. The case. Okay, okay. this is what Shetrox Bia has done uh, to me. Oh, obviously, her, not me. Just say you get it, most. So, whew. I was like, I I was his office, his, you know, it is Masemula and Shetrak's beer. Nah. You know what I'm saying? But Patricia will be like, ah, 
The patches means nothing to me. I'm going to face them. So I'll talk to Patricia and let me hear what she's got to say about this whole thing. Definitely I'll reach out to her and I want to I hear her. Hey, hi, Gubi. As a young as a lamb, cutting the Liswaini, no being circled the whole day today. Yes. Story for another day. When everything is done and dusted, we'll talk about it. But for now, I shouldn't talk about it. But I don't think we'll ever talk about it. I don't know. Yeah, depending on what the lawyers will say. If the lawyers feel that we can talk about it, we can. But I don't think um, we'll, I'm intending to talk about it. But yeah, for now, I don't think I'll talk about it. But yeah, I was in court the whole day. But I'm back now. <laughs>